Well, this afternoon, friends and folks, we're here at the Bear Short Hunter Iron Church after a good two day rest. We're getting on squats. Got 285 on a bar, working my way up. I am, um, I used to be in the pursuit of 500 pounds. I was trying to get it by the end of 2020, trying to get it by the end of 2021. And now, you know what? I don't care about that. Uh, or getting a 500 pound deadlift by the end of the year. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a lifetime achievement. Hopefully, I can reach 500 before the Lord calls me home. So I could be dead in five minutes by now. <laughs> I mean, just last week we had some dude pull a, a big old M16 right over here and had his backpack full of drugs and scavengers. You know, could have got shot. I could have got killed by them and the, those uh, poor little Asian chicks. I could have got all smashed up in between them and shot and could have got pumped full of drugs just to make it look like I caused all that or maybe something crazy like that. But I'm getting that. Don't boast about tomorrow Lucy. <laughs> you don't know what today holds we're getting a little bit off kilter there just because you know what man 500 pound deadlift 500 pound squat lifetime achievement i'm not gonna try it dude by the end of the year i am 50 years old after all and i believe that comes with the wisdom of understanding that all comes from the good word itself right here i want to come to bring the lord has to bring to you today through me is Let's do Proverbs 8, 9, 20 and 21. Wise words satisfy like a good meal. The right words bring satisfaction. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. As much as I like to talk, y'all, I like to shut up, observe, and listen. And this is how wisdom is gained. You know, a wise words satisfy like a good meal. How true that is. What I like to give you is the word of God. And I'm learning as I get older to give it more love instead of giving it in condemnation i <laughs> i have to filter through that because i am a very aggressive person and when moheha went in on my wife went home i try to give that aggression to the lord so that what succeeds it is his beauty over my worldly attitude but sometimes my flesh jumps and i don't want to have i don't want to have a spirit of mediocrity i want to have a spirit of holiness and that holiness is greatness and that great light belongs to him not me because i'm nothing but a weak weak man of flesh but he is a strong being a strong creator of spirit and when you got that then it's warpath against the evil one you can live it 285 on deck now we had this dude man he just started working out again and he tried to tell me that he got 465 for five no like 465 pounds by five and then when he told me about his breathing I believe this fella is a liar. I won't say his name, but I find it hard to believe. Um, in my prime, I have done 435 successfully with control all the way down, all the way up. I unwrecked 465, but I did not get it. I didn't go all the way down. But we got a little 285 on here. And uh, with control, we're gonna get this three to five. <sighs> Okay, 25 with control. The last one, turn it to squat and a half. So today, I want to edify and encourage y'all to come to someone, no matter who it is, and give them the right words to satisfy, like a good meal. Because like a bad meal or a bad restaurant, you will surely <laughs> remember that. And what will come across is judgment and condemnation. So not the judge of all the earth you right. The Lord wants you to judge not people but good situations for yourself to bring about his word that satisfy like that good meal you bless the iron journey shout out to terry pomakia i appreciate your love brother for all tribes for all faces all races of all human beings that's what a number warrior an inner tribal brother is all about